Yo, what's going on, my prophets? Your boy Cali here with a new tutorial video. And today we're going to break down the anatomy of a candlestick. I'm um, pretty sure you guys seen candlestick charts. Um, that's pretty much what most traders are using nowadays. Kind of looks like this. So, um, yeah, let's dive right into it and see what it's all about, right? So, what's a candlestick? Where do they come from? So, a candlestick comes from a Japanese rice trader in the 18th century that used to use it to uh, measure crops. So he would say, you know, what's a good time to sell your crops and stuff like that. So it's been around for a couple hundred years now. In the 1990s, uh, during kind of like the peak of day trading, um, we started using it in the stock market for technical analysis. Uh, we found some things that were kind of similar to the rice market and we were able to translate it into our markets so basically that's where it comes from so these are the two candlesticks you usually see you'll see a bull candle or bear candle or a bull is like green sometimes white um, a bear is gonna be red sometimes black Usually now with the technology, I mean, it's rare whenever you don't see just green and red. But you can set your candles to whatever colors you want and whatever visual aid helps you. Uh, when I first started trading, it was real easy for me to the point where, you know, my kids used to sit on my lap and I would tell them, green means good, red means bad. So, I mean, I got used to it, so that's what I used. Some of the, uh, you know, theory behind a bull in the bear market is the way that the way the animals attack so a bull uses a swiping up motion when attacking with the horns and a bear swipes down with his paws so that's one of the reasons we use these terms so let's break down what is a candlestick or how do you read a candlestick so the candlestick is made of a real body all right Ooh and the tops and the bottoms are going to be referred to as wicks or tails and then what you have on the bottom and the top is the shadows so it kind of looks like this this is a bull this is a bear I mean opposite sorry this is a bear this is a bull so what we're gonna see here is here's the real body the real body is what you see in color or where the wicks are coming out of and then you'll see the wicks coming out of the real body this is called the upper shadow the lower shadow on a bear or a red candlestick you're gonna see this is where we open the market this is where we closed and it depends on your time frame so the, what what each candlestick is measuring is a period so it's whatever period you set it to whether it be a minute five minutes a day three months whatever each candlestick represents a period that you have set for it so if we're looking at a you know one hour chart that means in one hour we open here and we close down here but it got to this high and it got to this low same thing uh, for the opposite is if we're looking at an hour you know we opened here we closed here but this was the whole movement of that whole hour so this was the low of the movement the high of the movement um, so if we go into this is a day chart we can see This is the high, this is the low, this is where we open, this is where we close. So, same thing, this is what all these little wicks and stuff mean. So, why are these shapes of these candles so important? You know, depending on the size and the tail and the body, you can read the market. Um, some examples that you're going to hear phrases in the candlestick market is, uh, spinning tops, hammers, dojis, hangmans, and all these kind of just signal trend reversals or uh, tell us where we are in the market. In other words, 
Are we bullish, bearish, or just kind of uh, indecisive? This would be an example of a spinning top. It has a little body and kind of longer wicks. Usually, if they say it's two to three longer. Your wicks have to be two to three times longer than your body for it to be a spinning top. You know, this is a hangman. Obviously, self-explanatory there. So, um, let me just show you some other quick um, candlesticks, right? A doji is a doji is going to have almost no body. Sometimes it should have no body. Sometimes it has a very little body, and then it has these tails. And you'll see, you know, grave star, dragonfly, long leg. So, all these are going to be for trend reversals or to tell you how the market is faring. You know, we have engulfments, you know, so this is a because the biggest the biggest candle is uh, bull. This is a bullish engulfment. This is a bearish engulfment. You know, we can see one here. So in this engulfment pattern, it tells you, hey, we're up for a downtrend. We're setting up for a downtrend or a reversal. So if we're going up. This would tell you, hey, we're probably going down. Not only is this a strong bearish engulfment because it swallows the first um, the, the candlestick to the left, but it actually swallows two of them. So this is really strong bearish engulfment, which means the market should be diving down. Down here right now, we're forming a, a bullish engulfment, which means... If this candlestick could rise to above here, it would eat two candles, which means we should be on the uptick. And this is OMG versus Bitcoin, just in case you're wondering. So trend reversal candles, right? Uh, we just saw when it's two candles or one or three, there's, you know, it, it doesn't matter. There's sets of candles that are going to tell you if you see a doji at a certain place, it's going to tell you as a trend reversal. That's what candles are usually meant to do is to tell you which way it's going or if there's a chance that it's going to switch to the other side. So we're going to say what a difference a line makes, right? So like we're looking at these charts and you kind of say, okay, so I have to be on top of these lines and watching them. Yes and no. Um, what I like to do is I start setting up a bunch of uh, support and resistance lines, which I'll break down how to do later. Um, but you know, you see a bunch of these lines, and these are my support and resistance lines. And what I like to do is um, look at them around this time, right? So, and if you don't have no prior data, because a lot of these coins don't have, they're new, so there's not a lot of data. There's two things you could do. Either uh, once it breaks a support or a resistance, you, you wait for a trend reversal and hopefully you catch it. Or you switch down to a lower time frame. So if you're looking at the one day, you can go into a four hour or one hour to try to look for the reversals. Obviously, the longer the time frame the stronger the patterns are as far as the trends so we see here this big takeoff right we have high volume it breaks through a um, couple supports and resistance and then you know you're you're in this trade already and you try to figure out when are you gonna get out so there, there's a, there's a couple of indicators here you know we're, we're in a consolidating market or a trend market here a range market so we started looking at you know you can get real technical there's a you know there's a cup and handle uh, double bottoms and all this but I mean if we just look at price action and support and resistance it breaks here and I'm looking for a uh, time time for me to get out right if you guys look at this candle right here the red one that's actually a, uh, a morning star so what happens here is it's telling me hey you might be in a downtrend and what happened is we couldn't break this line we couldn't break this line and then I get this signal saying it might be time to move out you know 
So then we get three reds in the in, in the row, which usually signal a sell. So you know, there's indecisiveness there. There's you know, and then we get this nice like, hey, um, you should have sold out. But the funny thing about this, you see how long the wick is down here. So on this one itself, the wick comes down to all the way down here. So that means there was a lot of selling, but because there was buying pressure, it didn't close that low. So that's actually a buying point. So these are things you have to learn how to adjust to. Um, and what's your risk tolerance? You know, maybe this will be some profit taking while you're still staying in the position, like I mentioned in the last video. So you know, take some profit in here. I don't want to get traded out. So we're gonna let it ride. You know, say 50% here, and the next thing would be here's the morning star again or shooting star morning star depending on what color the um, the actual candle is but you see another reversal and what's that tell me hey you're, you're you're in it for another downtrend and just based on these two stars right here look one two and both times it tells you a trend reversal is coming so that's basically how we use them as we get closer to these lines, we can kind of see if, you know, oh, is it going to reverse? So I'm looking at this line here. Is there anything important that happens that signals to me that it's going to go the opposite way? No. Here, no. Here, yes. We have an actual engulfment, a uh, uh, bearish engulfment, a uh, bullish engulfment, right? The green meets the red. So that means it's an engulfment, which signals to me that it's going to go up. So how far up is it going to go? I'll set my profit, or, uh, my target around the last uh, support or resistance line that we use, which would be up here, because I used it out here. So that's why support and resistance lines are so important, because it's going to tell you what channels we've traded in before, and it sets a psychological barrier for a lot of traders. So it hits that, bounces down. We have three red candles signaling to me it's going to go down. It's going down. When we hit the next line I see some indecisiveness so that's not a trade for me not a trade and I mean I'm still in it when we come down here we're getting a pretty strong engulfment pattern where this is going to eat two red candles which means we should be coming up and the you know we're gonna look at possibly 10 10 9 to 11 for the next uh, target so that's kind of how you use these um, these uh, candlesticks, you know. And here's the last uh, thing of advice, guys. There's no crystal ball. There is no indicator. There, uh, there's no amount of charts that you can look at that's going to tell you when the low and the high of any market is. It, whether it be coins, whether it be stock market, silver, bullion, whatever. There's, there's nothing. There's no crystal ball. There's only two things that charts can actually do for you. One is to tell you which way the market is moving. Is it an uptrend or downtrend? That's what you can visually see, and it's real easy. And the second thing charts are going to do for you is going to confirm a reversal. So if you're in the uptrend and you think it's going down, how do you know it's in a downtrend? Based on indicators or just a visual check of it, it's on the downtrend. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I'll be posting more videos um, more frequently now. I'm trying to work out a system. If this works for you, let me know. If it doesn't, you know, like, comment. Let me know what's going on, guys. I appreciate always profits. Take care and happy trading.